we did was a, a quad stretch, just kind of a, a variation out of the hurdle stretch. We went back, leaning on the quad. Now we're gonna get the lower back. So from that stretch, you can keep your, like if we're stretching our uh, lower back, you can keep your left leg where it's at. You just merely bring your right leg back in front of you. Keep the 90 degree angle on your left foot, ankle I should say, keep the leg straight. Keep the knee down. You don't want to bring your knee up because it's going to take away from the stretch. Keep that knee on the ground. Bring your right ankle all the way into your groin, you know, as far back as you can get it. Also, keeping your foot as close to this leg as possible, as uh, the leg is straight as possible. You know, you want to keep your knee that's uh, in this bent angle right here as low as you can keep it. You don't want it, you know, coming up. And if you can get all of the ground, that's great. You know, you have great flexibility. But you want to keep it pretty low, as low as you can get it. So you're going to reach for your leg that's in front of you. And if you want, you take your hand, other hand, reach for the front of your foot that's in front of you, and then when you lean forward, you're gonna feel that stretch in your lower back. And so you just lean forward as far as you can, and now if you start to feel pain, once again, you know, there's a, there's, there's a level of pain that's okay, and there's a level of pain that's, you know, unacceptable. When you get to that level that's unacceptable, back off the stretch, you don't wanna hurt yourself. So with that said, you lean forward, you feel that stretch in your lower back, and that's just a lower back stretch that you can do.